Hi guys, just thought I'd do a quick review on this magnetic dipstick. I just purchased a Champion 3500 uh, dual fuel generator. It hasn't come yet. I ordered on Amazon just two days ago. But I did order a magnetic dipstick to go with it. It arrived today. And uh, you know, all the reviews on YouTube said you got to get a magnetic dipstick during the break-in period, the middle metal filings that you can capture with the magnet. So it's okay, it was, wasn't that expensive. Actually, they, this one here, they had a non-anodized aluminum, which was like $23, and like for $26 was an anodized. One of the questions said, what's the difference? And one of the responses was, the non-anodized might seize up and not be able to be removed from the engine. I said, well, heck, sounds like to me, the anodized is better, it's three dollars more, so I got the anodized one. But it should have keyed me off when it said aluminum. I know aluminum is not magnetic, and so I got the dipstick here today out of the package. I said, I gotta find something metal, and let me watch this. I said, it's not magnetic. Right, right, right in the very tip. So, as you can see, it's a strong magnet, but it's just the tip. Now, I'm not a mechanic, and I don't know much about small engines, but when it says a magnetic dipstick, I'm thinking this whole thing is magnetic so that when you pick it up from the engine, it's going to have all those metal filings up and down the entire thing. Just the little tip. That's not a whole lot. That oil will go around there, and I'm not sure those things are going to find that little metal. It's size of a, not even a piece, it's, it's real small as you can see. But I did have another generator in the garage, a Honda 2000 that I purchased about two or three years ago. I'm replacing the 2000 with the 3500 generator, dual fuel. So I'm going to sell the Honda because I haven't even used it, just burned it in for a couple hours only. But when I got that a couple years ago, I got a magnetic tap stick. So let me go in the garage. I went in the garage, and here it is. You can see it's a little bit smaller, because this is for the Honda 2000. This is going to be for the Champion. What's this? <laughs> my <laughs> the end of my headphones stuck to it. But this is for the, the new one I ordered today for my Champion 3500 generator. So I said, let me see if this one here is magnetic all the way. Same thing. Just the tip only. I, says, I guess that's the way it works. It just was not what I was expecting. Although when I played with it a little bit more, I noticed here, this one here, there's a, there is a magnetic, magnetic pull the last half an inch. And then towards the actual magnetic tip. It's strong to pull away. So there is a, see I can take this thing right here and I can It, it, there's a pull, but I can pull it away there. On the one that I purchased for my for this review, the only magnetic portion is oh hey, here's one one last thing to show you. I said, well at least the two magnets will go together, and they won't go together. You know how one side of magnet is positive, one's negative. I don't understand this. Well, I do. I know why, because you know, positive, negative, and you know, you've had seen it with magnets kind of repel each other. But these two magnets here won't go together. They'll they'll go to the side. But they won't. There's a, they're forced. They're resisting each other. They're repelling each other. Now, does that matter much when they're supposed to be grabbing all those medical particles? Medical metal particles in your engine. I don't know. Maybe one of them. The magnet's in backwards, but which one? I don't know. So I'll keep it for the time being. I'm probably going to give it four stars instead of five stars since it's not what I expected. I thought the whole thing would be magnetic, but when my generator arrives, probably in about a week, I will. Try this out and see how it works. Thank you much, guys.